Hey guys, okay, this is Dave Bennett from Website Marketing Solutions Moji Crew. It is January 21st, 2014, and we're about to launch our next big thing. Uh, over the holidays, we've been working on this. This is about three months old now in the back end, and it's just getting launched. We've gone through maybe four or five major upgrades with it already. Those of you who know us, you know that when we create things and put them out, they're not jokes. They're deep, right? First, there was T-Fan. Then there was Moji. Neither one is particularly easy to learn to use, except this time, our goal was to make something incredibly simple, and we did. We did accomplish it. You will agree that you can figure it out. <laughs> it's very cool. And so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you through it, and just let me keep this one in mind. What do a lot of people do? Um, do they are they comfortable with HTML because that was our biggest thing it's like what's the most difficult thing for people uh, in Moji or in general is, is trying to create a website and especially trying to create it in HTML because then you have to deal with the coding that's a pain there are a lot of reasons why to use HTML but most people just sort of migrate over to WordPress because hey guess what WordPress has a, a user panel a control panel of sorts an admin panel and so you can go in and make adjustments, and that's kind of cool. Um, HTML, by contrast, you have to understand a href coding and so forth, and that's tricky, especially if you're trying to build it. You know, very difficult for a lot of people. So that keeps people from moving forward with a lot of the money making they should be able to do because it's hard for them to even start with a decent template, say. Uh, and we said, what if we just remove all the problems dealing with that? What if we just make it easy enough for you to use in HTML, whether you use it with Moji or not, whether you just want to create some websites or not? We said, well, let's just see how can we make this happen? Let me just show you and you'll start to see where this is going. OK, so here, let me show you a couple of things and ask you what they have in common. OK, if you take a look at this, what do you see? You see a plumbing website. OK, there's a particular template and a particular field to it. OK. It's got this rotating scroller here. Uh, you can flip back and forth in this rotating scroller. It's got the message block here. It's got some items here. And it's got its points down here. And it's got some blocks down here. Featured services, customer testimonials, um, a video you can click on to play a YouTube video and so forth. Okay. Now, what's it got down below that? It's got the slider here for particular features that are offered. Um, and these can be clicked through to anywhere. Cities that they serve and some footer logos, um, just whatever logos apply to the business, and some links down here, and finally some footer information, just copyright information at the bottom. All right, now what do we have here for a menu? A simple menu, just different things are in different places, right? All this makes sense, nothing's weird. We can go to any one thing, okay? And when we get there, you know, you can see what's going on on the pages and understand what's going on. Modules are here and here and here, okay? Then you have your footer stuff. And in the meantime, you have your big block in the middle of the page. And yes, you can do this, you know, and that's fine with your breadcrumbs. You can certainly do that. Now, what does that have in common? Okay, I'm going to ask you again. When you take a look at this, this has a particular layout for a particular reason. And don't mind the design. There's nothing about the design that you have to worry about too much, like the coloring in the background. Okay, just keep an open mind. You'll understand in a minute. Let me go to another um industry okay here's another industry i can refresh it to start the page you know but take a look again what do you see kind of the same thing right you see a menu and it works pretty much the same way you see again the schedule service block you see the scrolling marquee that you can select what you're trying to see okay and these links work like clicking here to learn more about us and so on they work okay keep in mind this is all dummy information let me just use the disclaimer that nothing on here is supposed to be real if there is a so ben landscaping it's an accident there's not supposed to be one it's short for south ben i just chose a city it's actually my birth city <laughs> so i just kind of chose that but anyway what do we have again a similar layout right do you know why we chose this layout because there are there are particular templates out there that are designed and when you look at the stats especially if you get talking with people who have these templates what you find is this is one of those high conversion style templates why would it be high conversion because it makes the points you want to say nice and simple and while you're mulling on it up in here 
you can see very particular offers down here that can apply to you. These things catch your eye clearly and easily and efficiently. And then you could schedule service. All of this is right here. Okay. What makes this work is the efficiency of it. Okay. It's just right here and the efficiency for the visitor who comes to the website. Same thing, like I said, applies right here. Same thing. The efficiency, the layout, the ease of being able to select from their services. You came here because of them. Uh, and you can go down and see whatever it is they have in here. Okay. Now that's the beginning. And it also looks like it's got to be a lot of work to build and code and stuff. Now, just keep following me. Don't get bored. <laughs> Don't get bored. This is going to get very interesting very fast. All right. So understand that we have this template here. And let me show you what this means. This says plumber.themedhtml.com. By the way, that's what we're calling this. And you'll understand what we're talking about here in a minute. But just for the record, let me just put it here before I forget. Theme to HTML okay that is the concept format let's make this big so you can see it okay and you'll understand what it is but keep in mind this is the idea and so the acronym for it, the short version is just T to H okay easier to type T to H and if people do this it makes sense too it's cool it's like coding T to H theme to HTML okay so what does it mean I'll show you okay I've got on this one website, any website I wanted, I set up a particular project dealing with a plumber. So I can show plumber sites to plumbers actually. But take a look at this for the back end. There is a back end. There's an admin panel. You can log into the admin panel. And when you log into the admin panel, that's the admin panel for this website. Let me see what that means. Okay. First of all, because this is going to be interesting, we are staring at a dashboard that's got options. If I hover over any option, see how the information over here on the right changes? Okay. Hover over the options and you get notes about what they're for and what to do with them. Okay. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Now, that's one thing. Let me explain this. Some of these options are up here because they're just quick, easy reach, but all the real options are right here. Anytime I want to get to these, I'll just hit dashboard to get to these. Okay. Now, what do we have for options? What does it possibly mean options? Because we're talking about this. Let me show you some basic things really, really fast. All right. Let's say, and, and I want to say two things at the same time. So let me just say something real quick. Take a look. I click on a page. It's a .html page, right? Click on another page. It's a .html page. .html page. Do you realize that? This isn't WordPress. No, this isn't Joomla. It's not Weebly. These are regular hard-coded HTML websites. That means the security is far better. Hackers attack WordPress because the login uh, elements are almost always the same. Since people know that, of course, that hackers and the bad guys out there, they're searching for domain.com slash what? WP-admin? Isn't that right? .php? Isn't that the link? And then when you get there, what's the username normally? Admin? And then the password is, well, whatever. But there it is. Just one thing to brute force crack to work on and see if a few different options don't click like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or A, B, C, D, E. And whenever hackers get into WordPress sites, what do they do? Either they upload a virus that can spread to any user that clicks on the website or they uh, delete the data right out of the databases. Just drop all the records from SQL, select all, delete. <laughs> and we see that a lot. And Google used to take down versions of WordPress until WordPress leaped up and came out with a new version. But what's the pain of that? That very often the add-ins quit working. You know, you got to upgrade your WordPress version and the add-ins stop working, some of them, unless the developers go and create the better version. Isn't that a pain? So what do you have? You have less security with WordPress, but you go to it again because it has what? It has this. Okay. This is what it has. Now, let me show you. Let's start. Pages. You'll start to tell me when this strikes you as familiar. You have a page you want to turn it off or on, a phone consultation page. That means if I'm staring at a phone consultation page right here, if I flip this off, yes, then guess what? I refresh, no phone consultation page, not on any of the pages. I go to any of the pages anywhere on the website, no phone consultation page, obviously. It's not in the menu anymore. Okay. What if I want to turn off 
a whole section at once. For instance, let's say a plumber does not do exterior services like thawing pipes or sewers. Let's just turn off the whole section. Again, we're going to keep moving with this, and you're going to see where this is going. Don't let this get boring in your mind's eye. See how I turned off the section, and it turns off all the sub-pages in that section? Recognize this? Does this look familiar? The top section is the main links that you see, and then everything underneath belong to those sections, right? That's easy, isn't it? So what if I flip it? There you go. No more exterior services for whatever, for this particular plumber I might be doing a job for. Okay. Now, again, I'm just making the point of how easy this can be. Okay. There, I just turned the whole section back on. Let me show you another one. What if a plumber I was doing some business for wanted the bathroom section over here in the general services next to it, or he wanted to contact us way over here by home, or maybe even first, but let's just see. Can we do things like that? Watch this. See this four arrow? Um pointer that I have if I just grab up in here one of these top sections and move it and hit save sorting it will know what I mean and it will pull uh, the general sections with it and either it got it all the way there or it didn't but take a look I'll put it before kitchen ser services now and there it is look at this flip general services now comes before the kitchen services on all the pages the menus updated right Oh, yeah, the guy wants the contact us page over there. Fine, piece of cake. So I take my contact us page and move it up right past home. Save sorting. Over here, flip it. There it is. Whatever the guy wants. You getting that so far? I'm going to show you more. First of all, it might be hard to remember what page you were on, right? Like, what page is this? I forgot what page this is. Oh, but since I'm in edit mode, I can just edit the page here. Click. And guess what? I see a page I can edit. What does that look like in the back end, by the way? It looks like this. If you hit pages, okay, those are your pages, right? Well, I drag them here. I can click on one of these things to preview it here, okay? But what else can I do? I can just click on a hyperlink to see the page here. Now, what are the options I have? I can have a normal page with a menu link, or if I want the page turned off, I can do it without a menu link. That way I have it in the background for whenever somebody does this thing. Uh, but I don't have to have it there all the time. Okay, So I can turn it on or off at will. Okay? I can have the parent page be whatever the parent page should be. So if I need to flip this and put it in a submenu somewhere, I can do that. Page URL, same thing. Page URL can be pretty much any URL I want. Dot HTML, which comes automatically at the end. It's just, what, what do you want the name of the page to be? For the information in here, okay, let me make this clear. I copy this from another website, paste it in here, like somebody's yucky looking website, and I'm just charging them a couple of hundred bucks to create these pages real quick off of their pages, okay? Since I can just change everything, I can change the name of the page, I can change the URL to match, so if they don't do this, but they do some other kind of service, I'll just change this to that and change that to that piece of cake. Copy paste the guy's thing in there and make adjustments to it to make it stand out. How easy is that? Well, if you've ever used a WYSIWYG, that's simple. Highlight whatever you copied and paste it in and choose the header you want. Header one, header two, header three, or normal, okay? And just choose it. Copy whatever you want that comes after that and decide if you want bullet points or not. See that? And then decide whatever font size you want for those bullet points. Okay? Like so. You can highlight stuff with the highlighter. You can bold stuff. You can change the color. You can insert variables. We're going to talk about the variables soon. We have something called global variables. It's one thing that we offer that WordPress probably doesn't. I don't know. I'm not much in a WordPress. I don't know if Joomla or Weebly does, but this is Moji style token control for all the pages on the entire website. You'll understand where this is going soon. So really, I just copied in a bunch of data and then just put some, some markers wherever I wanted. I could take anything. If I want to create a section called our expert plumbers, I might copy it and put in an extra space and paste it in and then make it like an H2. 
Wow, now I have it. I just did it, okay? So yeah, sure, I could like um, upgrade that. Now, this may not look very interesting until you remember. All I'm doing here is controlling the code. This is paragraph, this is H2, H2, but up here is H1, okay? And as simple as this looks, that's because all of these styles are being overridden by the real website design style. So watch this now. If I just update and reload, 